All right, we're in the ECG course level one still. Now we've moved through fundamentals unit, through the rate unit, through the regularity unit, and now we're going to focus on P waves here for just a little bit. And in this unit, there's only three lessons. They go pretty quick. We're going to talk about how to get the best view of the P wave and what P wave morphology or shape means. We're going to talk some more about dropped beats. We're going to talk about conduction ratio. So, best view of the P wave. Which camera angle, which lead of your 12 leads? If you think of that lead, I wish they hadn't put lead uh, as, as the name because lead kind of sounds like a wire. You know, you put the leads on, put the wires on kind of, kind of deal, but which I like to think of as a camera view. Think of this as a, as a security camera that's uh, focusing on the heart from multiple different angles and elevations. And there's 12 uh, different views that you can get on a standard 12 lead. You can add some additional cameras if you want to see in places um, that you need to. And so which of the cameras of the 12 leads is focused on the P wave? Well, hey, where do P waves come from? And then where is it anatomically? And what camera lead is right over that? Well, where do P waves come from? They come out of the SA node, which is in the upper portion of the right atrium. And V1, the camera in V1 is trained on that and is just really watching that. So the very, very, very best lead ever anywhere on a standard 12 lead is V1 to get a, get a good look at what's going on in the SA node. What's a normal P wave looks like? Well from different camera views things are going to look different so the morphology of a P wave depends on what angle you're looking at it from it's actually going to be negative in AVR and in V1 it's going to be biphasic part of it above and part of it below the baseline that's normal for those leads that's what you see in that camera when you look at it that's a normal P wave whereas typically in lead 2 and lead 1 and the field leads that we typically use, they look nice and normal and upright. So, a sinus P wave, a P wave that came out of the SA node, is very simply this. It is upright and leads 1, 2, 3, AVL and AVF. And it is supposed to be inverted in AVR. That's a sinus P wave. End of story. Write it on your arm. Write it on a napkin at lunch. It's a flashcard sort of thing. Always, 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 this is true. If the P wave is upright in lead 1, 2, 3, AVL, and AVF, and it's inverted in AVR, it came out of the SA node.